Hang on one second, please. Okay, guys, we should be ready to go. This is Lori with Fly Dog Fitness. I have got a strength workout for you today. We're going to be using some type of weights, kind of just depending on what you have. We'll be doing um, sets where you could use a little bit heavier weight, and then we'll be getting into um, a shoulder set a little bit later where you're going to want to use lighter weights or possibly even no weights, uh, again, depending on what you have. And then we should be able to finish with some core. Um, structure today is Tabata, so good news. Nobody has to count any reps. We'll all be on the same page at the same time. And we'll just kind of navigate through this together. So five minute timer going right here for warm up. Take off for a run if you like. Otherwise, stay here with me. Everybody get some space. It starts the jumping jacks. Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and walk it out with the Frankenstein walk. Yeah, this could be in place or you can move around. That's up to you. Good, let's go ahead and kick it into some arm circles. Step on forward, nice and big. Reverse it. Come back forward, go smaller. Nice tight circles. Reverse. And then come into a scissor movement where you're going to open up that chest and squeeze those shoulder blades at the back. All right, we're gonna go through a series of what we call just a squat, one squat, then one lunge, one lunge, and then you're gonna come back to your squat. Let's keep repeating that, no certain number. I'll just stop you. You're gonna go one squat, lunge, lunge. Don't worry, you got more of these coming later in your day. For those of you who are doing our challenge, We'll get plenty of squats in. Push ups are going to be a little trickier. But we're doing some weighted stuff. So I'll make sure to get you some push ups in your warm up today. All right, let us um, go ahead and get to our mat. And what we'll do is we'll do two different walkout push ups, but I want to do 10 push ups on each one, okay? Because I want to get some of you. Um, challenge people your push-ups in today. So we'll knock out 20 from the back. One walk-out push-up, 10 push-ups at the bottom, walk back up. Then do it a second time, 10 push-ups, walk back up. As you finish, I just want you to come into some alternating side lunges where we get a nice long pause, more of a stretch. Get that butt back, feel that stretch in your hamstrings right here. Couple second hold on each leg. Couple more here before we have a seat on our mats and we'll stretch it out. Get some 
slice it up. And then today we're going to do some basic twists as well. So have a seat. Can fly sit up. Okay, good stretch. Up oh, and forward. Good. When you get to that tenth one, we're going to cross those legs. We're going to lean back. We're going to push those hands side to side. There goes my buzzer. Perfect timing. We'll finish up with 30 Mason twists. So three zero Mason twists. Again, cross those legs, push those arms side to side, waking up those obliques. As you finish, just go ahead and take this opportunity to grab a drink break, stretch anything else you might need to stretch. And then we're gonna get right into our first set of Tabata where we're gonna be doing some squats. I'm gonna pull up my timer. Um, I'm gonna put the phone nice and close to the speaker because, or to the computer because I don't, ha I don't think I need my big speaker anymore. I think I was waking up the neighbors with that. So unnecessary. We are going to do today for squats. These are going to be weighted, and they can be weighted different ways depending on what you have. But we're going to go through four different types of squats, and then we're going to repeat those four squats for a total of eight rounds. Okay, so eight rounds of squats coming your way. If you're a challenge person and you want to count those reps, go ahead and do so. I'm going to start with, I guess, double dumbbells because that's all I brought out. So I'm going to start with a regular squat. And don't forget Tabata style is 20 seconds of exercise followed by 10 seconds of rest. So during that next 10 seconds of rest is when I'll intro the next squat, okay? Depending on your weight, if you have less weight and you wanna power through and get more reps, that's fine. If you have heavier weight and your squats are a little bit slower, that's okay too, all right? You're gonna hear a little bit of a warning here. And this is our start. Regular squat. So feet are shoulder width apart. Nice deep squat, squeeze those glutes. Engage your core. That's your rest. Now we're gonna go into a sumo squat. If you have double weights, I'm taking mine up to my shoulders. If you have single weight, it can be at your chest. That was your buzzer. And rest. Next one, I'm gonna put those feet together, close leg squats. I'm gonna push my butt way back. Close leg squats. Try to keep your chest up as much as you can. Good. Last one in this set is going to be a squat pulse. They could be weighted or unweighted. That's up to you. I'm going up top of my shoulders again. Just settle in there. And pull. Think about your posture. Nice tight core. Good. So you got those legs, we repeat. We're back to regular squat. Shoulder width apart. Here we go. This is round two, guys. 
Don't be afraid now that you're a little bit warmer to get a little bit quicker on your reps. Power up. All right, sumo squat. Leg squats next. Good job, guys. Make sure you're pushing that butt back. You're not leaning forward. Finally, we're going to go squat pulses. If you compromise your form, you can lose the weight on this. Keep it, keep it. There we go. Settle in there. Breathe. Weight still through your heels. Humidity still here, guys. Anybody who's outside looks like you see in one other. Rest. Good stuff. This is drink break time. If you feel like you need to stay moving, you can do that. Otherwise, um, take this as a rest break time, and we're going to start a new set. We are going into our total body set, guys. This may be our most challenging set for some of us because it's total body movement. So we're going to be doing not just upper, not just lower, but basically we're going to involve upper and lower and some core. So. I wanna to talk to you about these because I'm not gonna have enough time in between because I need to breathe. So first one, and these can be weighted or unweighted. Obviously I'm gonna show you the weighted version of all these. We're gonna do what's called a burpee stand up. All right, all it is is squatting those weights down, back, up, stand up, and you're back down, okay? Back, up, stand up. Exercise two, we go down to our mat and we do plank rows. Okay, so we're alternating rows. Then the third set, or the third exercise, from here, we just hop up, we pick up our weights, and we press them. So really, these are called peacemakers. It's just a burpee with a press now. Okay, I'll talk you through it. Last one, we're gonna put it all together by doing a row, row, and then finish out press. They're all pretty much variations of each other. Starts with the most basic, which is the burpee stand up, then the plank rows, then the peacemakers, where we bring them all the way up, and then it's going to be row, row, peacemaker. Okay, I'll talk you through it. Um, same structure two times through. Here comes your warning. Everybody ready for those burpee stand ups? time do me a favor push up people go do push-ups right now instead of plank rows everybody else doing plank rows This time it's our burpee, stand up, up to press. Okay, it's called a peacemaker. And down, back, up, pick them up, press them. Here we go. Stay strong, guys. You got it. 
And rest. We repeat. No, just kidding. We gotta go. We gotta do it all. Plank row to press or push up row to press. Here we go. So if you're doing the plank rows, it's a row on each side. Pop up. Press. If you're doing the push ups, just drop back. Push up. Up. And press. Last one in this set. Come on, guys. Nice. Now we rest before we repeat. Starting with our original burpee stand ups. Push through it, guys. It's a hard set. Nice job. I promise we slow it down after this set. So don't be afraid to push. Good. Back to our plank rows or our push ups. If some of you need push ups, you can do push ups. Good. Now we're at our peacemakers. That's our burpee with our press. All right. Last one. Let's put it all together. It's either plank row to press or push up to press. guys. Good stuff. Drink break time here. Hopefully that was our hardest set. All right, your upper body should be good and warm, at least your shoulders, right? We're going into nothing but biceps and triceps. So y'all know the normal that we do is just going to be curls and tricep extensions. If you have something else you want to throw in there, like dips or cobras, you can do that. Um, I may mix it up a little bit as we go. Otherwise, this set is nothing but alternating between biceps and our tricep, okay, for eight rounds. So you'll end up with four of each, but we will be alternating them. So we won't be doing like four biceps in a row and four triceps, rather we'll alternate every single round. So depending on the weights that you have, pick them up, get ready for biceps. Triceps, I'll start with a tricep extension, and then I may do a few variations as we go, okay? You're welcome to join me or just keep with your tricep extension. Morning buzz are coming. on your weight, you can use one or two weights for this, or a single kettlebell. <laughs> Overhead tricep extension, elbows narrow. Don't let your elbows flare out. They're supposed to be close to your head. with regular curls now. I might show you some variations um, a little bit later. 
Remember to isolate your biceps by not swinging your weight. Your weight should not come down any further than past your leg. Good, back to tries. Do another set of extensions before I mix it up. There we go. To biceps, I'm going to switch up to a hammer curl this time. This means my weights are like this, and I'm going to curl here. You can join me, or you can do regular. I just have a slight tilt forward. You see, my feet are offset. You want to tilt those shoulders forward just a little bit to isolate those biceps. Some dips. You guys can do tricep extension if you want. Last round of triceps coming up right here. I'm going to do what we call crazy eight. So if you want to join me, we'll do eight short, quick pulses. You can do regular if you want. After my eight short, quick pulses, I'm going up top. And then I'm only going to come down halfway, pulses up. Good. Last triceps. I'm going back to extension. You guys can do whichever tricep you want. Last one. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Stuff. Rest, guys. Break time there. Hopefully, you burn out your upper body, your buys and tries right there. Grab a quick drink if you need to. We are going to be hitting some more legs next. Okay, depending on what weights you have here, guys, I'm gonna single dumbbell it out. You could single kettlebell it out. You could use two um, weights. Say you have two lighter weights, you can use those as well. Um, I'll just show you the exercises and you can determine what you wanna use, okay? The first one is gonna be what we call a drop lunge. Some people call it a gritty lunge. But basically, I'm gonna hold this at my chest. I'm gonna take my leg behind, but I'm gonna keep my shoulders square. Everybody see that? So I'm here, and then I'm back to the start. Opposite leg, you here, and back to the start. Where you're gonna feel this big time is in your glutes. Um, let's go ahead and do an alternating set where you go one to the right, then one to the left, one to the right, one to the left. Second exercise, you're then gonna drop in to a lunge, and we're gonna pulse. We're gonna do one leg for all your pulses, or I mean, all, one whole set, then we're gonna switch legs for another whole set. Then we're gonna get into an alternating side lunge, okay, for our last exercise in this set, okay? That'll be four rounds. Then we will repeat those exercises. So go ahead and grab whatever weights you think are gonna work for you. You got your timer ready. Everybody starting with alternating drop lunges. Shoulder square. This is awkward lunge, right? Mega glutes here. Mm. 
Good. Rest time. Take a leg. We're going into a lunge pulse. Here we go. Drop that back knee. And now we're just pulsing up and down. Good. Rest time. We're switching it up. Make sure you breathe. Here we go. Same thing. Think about your shoulders back. Drop that back knee close to the ground. And breathe. Good. We're going into an alternating side lunge. So just like the beginning when we stretched it out, but we'll go a little bit quicker on this set. Drop it here. Go right to the other side. Push that butt back. That rest, we repeat. We burn out those legs pretty good on this next set. Alternating drop lunges. Here we go. Shoulder square. To our pulses. Take a leg. Everybody fight to go the whole 20 seconds. There we go. Get in there. Tight neck core and breathe. Good, there's only one more of these. Switch your legs. Nice work, guys. Fight through it. here alternating side lunges get it get a shot strong Take a break, rest time here. You guys are doing great. I've got two more sets on my board, which should be about perfect timing. We are going into a shoulder set next, guys. So this is where, if you have it, get some lighter weight. I'm talking like five pound weight, maybe eight pounds at the most, possibly tens. Um, otherwise you can hold two water bottles, you can hold canned goods. Um, basically, it's an all shoulder set. So eventually, no matter what, it should be difficult. Because what we'll do is same structure. We'll do four different shoulders. We'll repeat those four. And then we will finish our day with some core Tabata. All right? So grab a quick drink. Grab those weights. I'm going to talk you through these. I'm going to pull my camera up just a little bit so you guys can see. Um, Cause I'll just talk you through them in between instead of going through all four right now. Grab my lighter weight. We're starting just so you know, with what we call Arnold. You're gonna be, it's gonna be in front of your face and then we're gonna turn out and press up back to facing knee. So palms are in and then palms out to press. Palms in 
palms out to press. That's our start. I'll talk you through the rest. Everybody grab those weights. Arnold, guys, they're called Arnold presses. Here we go. Palms in, palms out. Think about nice tight core. Offset your feet. To stabilize your back. All right, watch me on this one. We're going to go front, out, down, and then reverse it. Up, in, down. Okay? Variation of our front lats. Okay, so I'm going laterally here, in to reverse front, then I'm going front raise, out to lat reverse. Woo, you got weight that heavy quick. All right, now we're going to drop it down into a closed leg squat. Thumbs out, reverse delt. Here we go. Keep it up. Last one, thumbs up, coming up at a diagonal, then we're coming wide, then we're coming all the way up in reverse. Here, here, here. Here we go, make a V. Going up to a V, coming out lateral, going up top. Back to lateral, coming out to your V, dropping. Ooh, these are terrible. Up, out, up. Here we go, come on. Stay with me. And rest. We got to repeat that all, guys. I'm sorry about that. Back to our Arnold. Here we go. Palms in, palms out. Get them, guys. Get them. We'll be going into our front lat tees next. Hang in there. All right, so this is the one where we go up, out, and then down. So it's front raise first. Here we go. Front, out, down. Then up laterally. Into the front, reverse front. Hang in there. You should be burning. Shoulders should be on fire. These are front lat tees we call these. Good. We're now to rear delt. This is your break exercise right here. This is a closed leg squat. Thumbs out. Hang in there, guys. Tighten your core and breathe. Remember, you're squeezing those shoulder blades at the back. Last one, we're coming up. These are called diagonal Ys. Coming up diagonally, then coming out laterally, and then coming up like a Y. Here we go. Making that V, coming out, and then all the way up. And reverse. You don't need weight for this. You can lose the weight. Keep it moving. Rest. Those shoulders should be on fire. During break here, we're going to have a seat on our mat. If there's something that you want to add weight to, go ahead and take some light weights next to you just in case you want to grab them and use them. I'm going to move my camera down. Y'all can see me. And if you want to add some light weights um, where you can, you can do that. I'll set mine right next to me. Got my timer right here. We are going to start with a crunch today. If you want to do a regular crunch with me, 
let's do that. We're used to doing a 90 degree crunch. So let's do a regular crunch today and let's add a weight to it. So what that would look like, or two weights, would be here. And then I'm just gonna elevate my shoulders up off my mat. So they're gonna be a lot full sit ups, but crunches where you're just gonna pull those shoulder blades off your mat over and over and over. We're then gonna go into some flat out V-ups, which is just alternating flat out and V-ups. We're gonna do some penguins today, which would be a great opportunity to use those lighter weights for your penguins. And then we're gonna finish up with some rockers. All right, so those are our four exercises. I'll remind you as we go. I wanna get us rolling here. So your warning's coming right now. We're starting with weighted crunches. Grab those weights. Here we go. Breathe. Good, we're going into a flat out V up combo. So one is bent leg, one is straight leg. Here we go. Join you in just a few seconds, get my tiny break here. So I should be able to see which one's your flat out, which one's your V up by looking at your leg. Good. If you have light weights, we're going penguins. I'm just gonna elevate your shoulder blades and really push towards your heels, side to side. Here we go. And last one is our rocker. The only variation to the rocker would be a little bit of a bent leg rocker. So I may have to go there part way through. Otherwise, straight legs. Rocking forward, catching those heels right before they hit. This could be weighted or unweighted. If it's unweighted, your hands are at your ears. Good. Back to the top, guys. I know this is a ton of uh, middle ab burner. Let's do it. Here we go. Crunches. Last set here. Breathe. Good stuff. We're to our flat out B up combo. Good, penguin time. Let's get those obliques. Penguins. Awesome, last one guys, rocker time. Let's finish out strong. Here we go. Try to breathe. Come on, push through it. Almost there. Good, rest time, a good finisher for core, if you can stick with me. It's gonna be a one minute plank to finish your day. So when you're ready, just go ahead and flip around. Obviously we worked a lot of shoulders today too, so we'll be feeling this in our shoulders and our abs. One minute plank, if you can stick with me. 
Let's do it. Let's finish today strong. Work on that core. All right, everybody ready? Last minute of your workout right here. Ready, set, go. Remember our shoulders right over our elbows in a nice straight line. Every once in a while, check by looking straight ahead of you. If you can do that, you're probably in a pretty good position, meaning your butt's not too high. If you're like me, you're gonna be sliding around a little bit on your mat because of all the sweat you got going. Already halfway. Everybody breathe. Make sure those rear ends are out of the air. Final 15 seconds right here. Come on, everybody got it. Embrace that shake if you're shaking. Eight seconds. And rest. Good stuff today, guys. I'm going to end it right here, seated, because I'm going to do some stretching. Uh, thanks for joining me. Obviously, a lot more strength day today. Um, if you need to go for a run, you're welcome to do that on your own. Otherwise, have a great day and enjoy that good burn you should feel for the next hour or so.